So this is our swing into spring feature pyramid. It's filled with spring bulbs like tulips and daffodils and hyacinth. It has a wonderful fragrance. Those are the double flowering oh, daffodils really nice. and they're very smelly. Are you in need of some vitamin D and fresh air? Every other month, Eric Gibson and his team transform part of the Mutart Conservatory into a colorful foliage show. This month showcases tulips. It's the season. We need the cold and the right now in the spring is the perfect time because in the middle of summer they would only last about a day. But I should add, uh, the bulbs when outside will come back for years and years and you just eventually have to divide up the bulbs as they grow so big, but the flowers are short lived. Eric, in the case that I receive this, is this something I just put in a windowsill? How do I make sure these perennials come back each and every year? Well, these are tulips and you're going to want to put it in a window with some light. Okay. The flowers, if you're lucky, will last one to two weeks, but they're pretty short-lived, yeah. But the bulbs, like you said, are perennials. So what you want to do is when you get home, after it flowers, you can cut off the blooms and then you're going to want to plant these bulbs into your garden. And you won't get any flowers this year, but after they receive a winter cold period, you'll get blooms next year. Will they in the ground last longer than a week and a half? Even when you see tulips outside, they're very short-lived. So it's like a week or two. And if you have lots of sun like we're getting these days, it's even less. But Eric says you may have better chances if you interact with them. Yeah, they respond, definitely. If you just were to grow it in a cabinet and never like, interact with them, you won't have the same effect. You have to take a look at them, make sure there's no bugs on them. You can talk to them. I've heard if you play music, they will re respond to the stimulus. I believe that they produce a good energy, you know. It's nice to work in here. It's a really good atmosphere, fresh air, surrounded by flowers you can't complain. A cool fact about tulips was they're native to Turkey in the areas around there and the name tulip is derived from a Turkish word for gauze which resembles the turban so that's how tulip came about. After learning about these magnificent plants take a second to feed the fish. This place is perfect for the family or a day to feel like you're out of the city. While you're here, don't forget to come and wish at the Wishing Well. For Shaw TV Edmonton, I'm Jordan Hurtner.